I want to test drive this car. No. No. Yeah. Here we go, that's the one. We're gonna test drive this, this, this. Finally. Guys, here's the Lincoln 3.0 engine. Uh, this car provides like 400 horsepower, 400 feet of torque. But, uh, only for the MKZ and Lincoln Continental has the same engine. Uh, three liter. This model is all wheel drive. If you get the front wheel drive, you're gonna get the 350. On the all wheel drive, you're gonna get the 400. So pretty much, you know, the same intake box, dual intakes for the two turbos on the two sides. And very nice torquey engine. A lot of torques on this car. Ultimate slippery. I don't know how much they're gonna pull after tune. All the guys like me, definitely, I'm gonna tune this engine. And uh, exhaust sound, I don't like it, very quiet. Very, you know, you not notice anything about the you know, performance. This is performance engine but exhaust very very quiet so definitely um, the guys who own this car i think they will tune and change the exhaust at least muffler delete this car has uh, adaptive cruise control also i'm going to show and rain sensing wipers very nice very useful one click second click you fall five seconds and all formulas can open up. Also, you close and click five seconds. There you go. 
has a remote start also. One click and double click remote. Oh, it's starting now. Automatic climate controls. And it's automatically, you know, adjust the climate control inside. One click, it's gonna shut off the engine. This is trunk, this is panic. Nice signal. So now this is a dash. Two digital screen is here and there's a lot of settings I'm gonna start from the first one fuel trip you have a tr two trips 17.9 um, and 14 I'm city drive and I drive all the time in the sport mode now it's in the comfort the good thing when you shift the transmission right here sport it's gonna change inside look the color sport is red and suspension is gonna be a little stiffer and now is the comfort so you can adjust the settings also the fuel economy right here is going to be instant and drive assist when you go to drive assist blind spot cross traffic alert cru uh, cruise control you set up the cruise control adaptive cruise or no normal cruise control i'm in the adaptive drive alert it's going to be on on the display also it means on the dashboard it's can you're going to see lights blinking so now uh intelligent oval drive you're gonna give see just the you know informations how's the dividing the power for the back or front wheel line keep system uh you're gonna go to mode and alert aid or the both uh it means the uh, alert it's just the dashboard the light and the sound Eight, it's gonna kick your uh, steering wheel to the inside whatever you're shifting without the turn signal uh, and safety it's gonna be normal or high low I use in the normal it's enough you know it holds good so pre-collision it's gonna be just you know to make ready your brakes and on the dashboard you're gonna see the lights and uh, you know this is active brake here yeah, it's holds your brake is going to be a lot stronger you're going to feel right away once you coming up for the traffic stopping in front of you uh, time monitoring system it's good uh, and right here this is drive alert this is settings you go to vehicle setting and drive control here uh, on the drive you're gonna have comfort on the sport also you can change normal or sport transmission shifts is different performance sport it's when you using the paddle shifter behind the steering wheel so now is the exit like um, your driver seat is gonna move back and steering wheel goes up or the engine off it's when when you lift the just the car is starting on it's automatically it's gonna shut off after 15 minutes so what else uh, lightings uh, automatic delay you can put also the timer uh, daytime light it's the uh, you know LED lights on the back and welcome light when you're coming to the car I show you the previous video so um, I show you earlier on the video when you coming to close to the car it's gonna lights up around it's a very nice feature uh, locks automatic you know the feedback or you know uh, you can adjust the locks this lock remote unlock remote unlock it's all doors or driver door one click in uh, the mirrors auto fault and oil life I have a 89% oil life power deck light enable switch or disable remote start also climate control automatic if it's cold outside it's gonna be the warm inside or opposite side the last settings you're not gonna use it front seats automatically adjust duration remote uh, when you start the remote you can adjust the duration also and what else the interesting wipers uh, the windows it's automatically i'll show you the before and the wipers curtains wipers for example once it wipes after like five seconds it's gonna wipes again because uh you're gonna see the drains and the water 
rain sensing it's on driver control so you see the all the you know settings it's a lot of uh, settings here you can adjust it and the middle uh, screen you can adjust on this side so you can put navigation phone speedometer or entertainment whatever the music you're listening it's gonna appear there for example uh, turn on the music and you know Series XM also you can change uh, the modes on the music so on this side you can put the kilometers if you want this is uh, right here on the settings you go to display and last settings speedometer on the kilometers it's gonna be shows up here you see it's very nice if you live in the Cal uh, Canada or other places you can also have this uh, settings here so now uh, this is your let me adjust this is your audio settings and this is your cruise control so you're gonna turn on the cruise control it's gonna appear here so when you turn on the cruise control it appears here and you put the set set whatever speed and set on the front of car and it's gonna just you know drive behind that car so this is your cruise control this is information settings right there and the sync 3 awesome I'll show you before and the link a little different than Ford just the background color other than that everything is you know the same again the Navigation is beautiful, the work seamless, and the screen quality is very nice. The pixels is very high pixel. This car has uh, interior lighting. Its lights are very beautiful. Uh, I'll show you at the night time. I'm sure this. And the massage seating, the both driver and passenger, and adjustable seats. Like if you pull up these two things, uh, like you're gonna feel like sport car. I don't know how it shows the screen. That's it. Uh, here's your settings. Auto hold is awesome. Traction control you're gonna turn off. It's when it's winter time. I'm gonna use it a lot. Uh, this is traction control off. Now auto hold. It's gonna keep your brake all the time when you stop in the stoplight. So you're not gonna keep your brakes. So you can release the brake and the car is gonna stay on the same spot. So hazards, this is uh, park assist, and the music climate control this car have, uh, heated and cooled seats, and the dual side climate control. This is now rear view, ah, the backup camera right here, automatic dimming rear views, and the mirrors also. The mirrors, it's gonna be automatic folding here, hit that, and the both side. The previous car I did, uh, I did the test drive, it was a red with the panoramic roof. This one doesn't have panoramic roof and any kind of sunroof. I like this one better. Panoramic good and you know for the fancy, the night outs, but for the hail you're gonna destroy your head. So this is a nice, nice car. Now we're gonna test drive on highway and we'll see how it's performance. Also we're gonna do the 060. All right guys, this is 2017 MKZ. Um, a lot of features in this car, so the one of the, my favorites, uh, park assist, auto hold, and you know, adaptive cruise control. So we're gonna test how it works in real life when you're using every day. So now we're gonna, park, uh, we're gonna use the park assist. It parks parallel and perpendicular parking also. So I'm gonna find any spot, for example, and it parks so to I'm both sides. So I'm gonna side. park right now the perpendicular on the the left side so you're gonna turn the light to the left and just go the car mm -hmm. gonna look to parking it's spotted stop right you're gonna put the reverse and that just that's, that's it you just back it up it's kind of scary it takes very close 
but it's a perfect stop put in drive pull up a little bit front stop put the reverse if this car next to you it's parked like perfect that's it we're in the park so let me see how it's straight okay this is how the car is parked in this uh, the per perpendicular parking so you see this car it's like the park a little bit on the side so between the back wheel and the front wheel it's exactly the same distance if this car parks straight or the next to your car is parked straight you're gonna park excellent so this car doesn't park by the the light uh, by the lines it's gonna park by the cars so anytime it's like you know everybody's parked straight you're gonna park straight too now we're gonna go to highway this is the belt parkway on the dash right away it switched from 25 miles just I'm approaching the highway it says a speed limit 50 miles that's very good stuff and I'm gonna accelerate right now how you pull up the highway look at this a lot a lot faster than other cars and it was uh, 80 miles and the police right here I stopped one time yeah that was good So driver is very very quiet interior um, suspensions on the comfort mode uh, if you switch to the sport rpm it jumps because uh, it switched to the lower gear and it keeps a lot higher a lot longer in the you know the lower gears all the time very easy to join to the highway drive 60 miles that's okay in New York everybody drives 60 miles uh, this is New York roads a lot of bumps right here and you're gonna hear the suspension now usually my Subaru STI it's I try to make a video one more time with the STI also has the drives because I have a you know coilovers after this car I don't want to drive that only thing I miss on this car I'm gonna tell again the exhaust sound it's very quiet of course Lincoln luxury car but when you switch to the sport the Lincoln did that special with this engine 400 horsepower engine exhaust no change or you know at least the intake sound it's gonna be the perfect now we're gonna go some place where we can test 0 to 60 and 0 to 80 miles So we have a little traffic in the Belt Parkway and I set up my car to the adaptive cruise control. So every time the cars it stops full and every time the cars move you're going to click just a little button, resume and it's going to take off automatic. I'm not hitting you know the gas, acceleration, pedals, anything. Look it's stopping now and I set up the distance like a little farther, three bars. So it's going to go a little farther than front of my the front of cars special I do I want to show somebody it's gonna pull in and it's gonna adapt it from that car so it drives itself now I set up after 56 miles cruise control so you can set up every time you turn on the adaptive cruise control it's gonna start from 20 miles and you can uh, increase the speed That's amazing, I'm not touching brakes, it just drives. Three bars, I'm gonna decrease a little bit distance for the two bars. Now you see it's car coming a little closer for the 
so adaptive cruise control you can go up to 110 miles the maximum speed on adaptive cruise control is 110 miles it doesn't go more than 110 that's a lot that's 110 miles it's maximum and here you have a line keep assist you can turn on that two sides arrows is the line keep assist so it's gonna go when it's detected the line is gonna be you know the lights up green We're gonna do zero to 60 right now. Um, AC off, all windows is closed, sport mode. I'm gonna just floor it. Quarter of tank, two passenger inside. And here we go. Work lunch. Let me see. Traction control. Traction control off now. Torque launch. Two RPM. Go. Oh my god, that pulls nice! Eighty. Yeah, this is beast. Um, AC off, all windows is closed, sport mode. I'm gonna just floor it. Quarter of tank, two passenger inside. And here we go. Traction control. Traction control off now. There we go. Torque launch. Two RPM. Go. Oh my God, that pulls nice. <laughs> Try it. Look at this evil. I like your turbo, bro. <laughs> just did a uh, short pull with the Evo it's, it was an old Evo but you know tune up I see the cop you know tuning on the dash he had the exa exhaust I don't know what else he have it but you know the, this car was a little faster faster I go it's go you know they're like, like two three cars behind Did my camera you always missed it how far it was Evo but uh, we did about 80 miles and you know you couldn't catch, catch up yeah that's it guys um, more you drive more you like the um, the Lincoln MKZ definitely the Lincoln make a lot of good stuff with the 
the Lincoln cars. I like the MKZ and Continental, how they perform and you know how it drives. Continental even better, very smooth. But the MKZ, it's so far is the fastest car in you know in the Lincoln lineup. Only bad thing I have about this car now, um, the, when you drive more than 90 miles, you're gonna hear very bad uh, wind noise on the driver's seat, on the front seat also, it's whistling. It's definitely whistling. Again, when you drive after 90 miles, you start to hear uh, the whistling sound. I think it's gonna be the recall because F-150 has same issue before 2015 the new body style and they did the recall they fixed that on Lincoln also they're gonna fix that uh, the issue I just find out when I treat uh, when I go to Pennsylvania another day